Arike is spot on. I, I truly think that there are always politics involved when you're putting together a team. Whether that works in some players' favor or it works against some players, sometimes it comes down to fit whether that is based on your personality, whether that's based on if they think the coach is going to get along with you, whatever they're basing this on, sometimes it doesn't come down to who are the best X's and O basketball players out there on the court. Team chemistry gets involved, so politics get involved. But we see this in every sport. I've talked to some of my friends in the NBA. I've talked to some of my friends in the NFL, and they talk about politics within their organization. There are politics in every organization. It's unfortunate for Arike, but Arike is not the first player that has felt like she's been left off of Team USA. Becky Hammond in 2008. Mind you, Becky Hammond was second in MVP voting in 2007. Becky Hammond wasn't on that 2008 team. Candace Parker has been left off of teams. Neka Agumike has been left off of teams. These are incredibly talented, legendary players that have been left off of Team USA. So sometimes politics comes into play. I think Arike understands that, and that's why she withdrew her name. I just want to make sure I'm clear, Andrea Carter. It's good to see you, by the way. All right. Thank you. All right. When we talk about politics, right, what we're basically saying the things that are not related to basketball itself, mm -hmm. other ancillary things on the outside that contribute to formulating a roster, are you saying here over the national airwaves that that actually happens, that that happens all the time? It does, yes. Okay. Sometimes it works uh, in players' favors, hold on, sometimes hold on. it doesn't. That's what I heard I'm saying. you. I heard you. I heard you. I'm going someplace. So, why was it a problem when I pointed out uh, don't how do that. Caitlin Clark We're still on vacation. should have been on Team USA because I was saying it ain't about basketball, it's about marketing, it's about I politics. Don't think it, I'm saying, I don't, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm saying, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying you're refuting anything like that. I'm simply making the point that there was, there was a tsunami of stuff coming my way. Why? You because it. I had the you unmitigated goal you to point it out. All. Excuse me? You deserved it all. Molly, can I, can I speak to Andrea? Yeah. Can I speak to Andrea right now? Don't interrupt the flow. Don't interrupt <laughs> the flow. Um, Andrea, I mean, what I'm saying is I was talking to y'all and I said, we know that the players that are on the team deserve to be on the team. But when we talk about popularity, when we talk about marketing, when we talk about the politics of the business of basketball, this is why you get somebody like Caitlin Clark and you make her a representative of Team USA. I'm not even saying that you're conceding my point is right about Caitlin Clark. I'm making the point that's what I was saying. It wasn't a basketball argument. It was saying this happens all the time. So why was everybody, you know, about to lose it and fall off their rocker? Because I basically said what you just acknowledged over national television. Because, Stephen A., Stephen A., you're so intelligent. You're just too smart for, for everything that you just said. Because you know politics are a piece of the pie. If constructing a team is a cake, if we're baking something, yeah. politics is just one ingredient. Yeah. Your X's and O's, your skill set, how right. you've proven yourself on the professional right. level, okay. the chemistry that they think you're going to have with the coach, the chemistry they think you're going to yes. have with the team. Keep going. All of those things factor in to the decision of putting a player on the right. team. You could argue, you were fired up about Caitlin Clark for the marketing side, but if we were going X's and O's, your argument could have been stronger for why Enrique was left off of the team. Absolutely. You were for marketing, and I get that, but I'm saying it all just comes together. Politics is a piece of the pie. Enrique what, acknowledges what, that. What, what? that. Politics would have worked for Caitlin. It worked against Enrique, but it's just a fraction. Enrique, not for either of Enrique them. is the second leading scorer in the WNBA. She is special. She is a score machine. Obviously, that's something that you need from a basketball standpoint. There is nothing to dispute. But what I'm saying is, we just finished discussing, as she articulated, that clearly there are things other than basketball that play a role. And so when I said it, all the noise 
that would be made out there. Yeah. All I'm trying to say is, Andrea just confirmed uh, it's a piece of the pie. I get it. It's a slice. It's a piece of the pie. I slice. understand. It's a piece. It's a slice. But damn it, slice it. Guess what? If you take a slice out of it, particularly the kind of slice you would no, want to drink like yourself. A diet I slice. mean, it's like, it's it's like, like a I mean, the cake missing. is missing. It's a little the, the cake is missing. I, Andrea, it's, excuse me one second. I just want to talk to you, Stephen A. Are you okay after that tsunami that hit you? I mean, you're so dramatic. It is. You, a, you, a tsunami I, I, came the way, after uh, you. Are you, you said, okay? Excuse me. Don't let me. I, I could get into details about what came my way okay? just because I had the unmitigated goal to say what I said. Oh. And I was right, oh, by I the was way. Oh, I was just talking but, about but, me, but I'm just saying. Chine, no. Andrea, no, that no, tsunami. No, no. I wasn't talking about that. Oh, okay. I wasn't talking about that. Okay. I wasn't talking about that at all. Stephen Ride a, the wave. What, what? Yeah, yes, Andrea. Yes, Andrea. What is... What's worse? Like, what's going to fire you up as somebody that knows the game of basketball? Someone being left off the team that has more of a reason to be on there for X's and O's, mm -hmm. or someone being left off the team that has more of a reason to be on I'm there Andrea, than politics? I thought, I, if, it's, I, I, if it's player I thought A you and player to me. B. I thought, I thought you listened to me. I told you years ago. When Isaiah Thomas was left off to the original Dream Team in 1992, I thought that was the most egregious act against the sport of basketball that I have seen, and everything else pales in comparison. So if we are able to move on and stomach Isaiah Thomas being robbed okay. from his participation on the Olympic Dream yeah. Team in favor of John Stockton, okay. okay, we could deal with anything else. Okay, I just I appreciate that story because it is interesting, and I have a lot of love for Isaiah Thomas. What was your answer to Andrea's question? I just answered it. Oh, I, it I just answered which it. One's I just answered which, it. One's which, which one's worse? Which one's worse? Excuse me. Excuse me. Of course it's worse for a basketball player that's worthy of being left okay. off the team. Thank but you. I'm accustomed to it because Thank of Isaiah. You. Got it. So that's a piece of the pie as well? Piece of the pie. Okay, big piece? piece? Big piece. <laughs> but you, you is always a big piece. Big